Six four, two thousand twenty one, okay. to June four, two thousand twenty one, which is one day. We have jail credit from nine twenty six, two thousand twenty one, to June twenty second, two thousand twenty two, which is two hundred and seventy days. That is why in the subsequent line, it says total prior credit time, 271 days. But ironically, Judge, in between June 4th of 2021 and September 26th of 2021, he doesn't have any credit for time served because he wasn't being held. And this particular real incident- quick, Real quick, real, real, real quick, the, the, yeah. the jail credit from, from six, you said 621 to no, six, six, five. What was that? six, six, June 4th of 2021 to June 4th of 2021. He had one day and then, and then he was released. And then the next, then, and where was that? Where, where was that being, where was that taking place? Um, it, I think it was, it was here, Judge. It was, it was in the, the county. County, that's the county. And then yeah. on September 26, 21, to 822, where is that taking place? To, no, to 622 of 22. That was in the county as well, Judge. That's in the county. And where does the federal time kick in? I think the federal time kicks in afterwards, Judge, at least based on what I have. Or that may have been partly federal because Mr. Reagan's only given me computations of dates. It's not specifically stating where it's from. And I have the information that that out that I was given by by Mr. by Mr. Owens, Judge. This is the documentation that he has. Yeah, but so, I guess I guess my let whole Mr. Point is, let, let Mr. Reagan finish. He was talking. Yeah. So 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 Judge, initially I Sorry. think what it looks like in terms of the jail credit, you know, it looks like, and I, I guess I don't know if Mr. Owens looks at this. He's been in. He says the last thirty months consecutively. 6 4 2021 and i think the way it's grouped it looks like to 9 26 21 oh. and then the other other notation looks like from 6 4 to 6 22 which i understand what mr vincent's saying in terms of how you read it um you know and how mr mr owens may have been reading it in terms of how this how this was was complicated you know um well, Mr. Owens, federal time began 6-23 of 22. It looks like that's when the sensing was. Um, can I speak so I can explain? And I would, well, I would, this is the one time I would like Mr. Owens to be able to speak. Because everybody everybody is confused. Now, Your Honor, I'm going to come up so I can show you closely. If you I can't, I can't read it. I, I can't see it over the Because I'm going to email you a copy of it right now. <laughs> The, process, the prosecutor have a copy in his hand. If he can hand it to you, I can go step to step with you what it means. He's saying I was in Wayne County. I've never, ever been in Wayne County jail, period. Yeah. The, feds in Wayne, the feds don't hold you at Wayne County because y'all don't have a contract room no more unless I have a case in Wayne County. The feds picked up my gun charge. I never, ever got locked up in Wayne County. I went to DDC. They gave me a PR bond, and then the feds came and snatched me off the streets. Now... Now, from the time where it say jail credits on the paperwork right there, it say jail credit from 604 to 9, 604-2021 to 09-26-21. I was in Livingston. Did you email it to me, Reagan? Give me the email. I was in email, Your Honor. I was in, right I was in, Livingston, I was in Livingston County Jail. That's where they hold us for feds at Livingston County Jail. Okay. And then where it say from 60421 to 62221, I was at I was at 
Midland County. They got two counties they hold you at, Federal County. They got Saginaw, Livingston, and Midland. And I went through all three of them counties where it say I got sentenced with the feds and 22 is correct is when I got the judge to send me off to prison. That's when I actually went to a federal prison, but I was in federal holding doing all this time that they said. That's what this means. But my actual prison days didn't start until, the, until when I got sentenced in 22. But all my jail time been in there, and it says right there at the bottom of the paperwork, if you look closer, supervision and person was not credit a bond. I've been in custody the whole time. I couldn't get a bond. The feds don't let you pay to get out. I got you. I right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. So okay. Get All right. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to get the paperwork. So that was my thought. Just send me the uh, oh, email. I sent it to you. Oh. Shoot. Oh no. I said. I'm sorry. That says the courtroom. Uh. Let's see. Where can I send this to? Rick? Uh, huh. Let's get back in the. Ch I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna make you call so then you can chat him. Okay. Well, can you just forward that to Reagan, the, what I said? Yeah, I can do that. Okay. I can do that. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, judge, if I may. I want, I want the paperwork first, and then you didn't let you. And see, Mr. Field. You got me a hold. Okay. Phil, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. So from what the defendant is saying is saying, uh, and yeah. from from what's on the paperwork was that the date of the offense was June fourth, twenty twenty one. And the defendant is my understanding is saying he's never been out of custody since June. That was that was that what I'm hearing, Mr. Reagan? That's what you're hearing. Uh, she's saying he's never been out of custody since June 4th, 2021 until February 2nd, 24. Okay. And that he had and that he has been moved from various places with the federal system before he went to federal prison. Is that correct? That's, that's correct. Mr. Vincent, and your you are you are your argument is, is what? Uh, just math, Judge. I mean, if, if you look at uh, the sheet in front of you, I, you know what? Everybody's coming up with all of these different scenarios. Let's just go to the math. So the jail credit is for 271 days from September 26, 2021 to June 22, 2022. It's 270 days. Add the one day that he ended up getting arrested before he got arraigned, the June 4th of 2021, those two add the total prior credit time. So from June 4th- so, so let, let, Let's stop, let's stop there. So your so it's your contention that he had he was he received a personal bond that was just out of custody, that he was just he was just free to go on all the on, on this stuff. That that's what you're saying. Judge, I'm, I'm just telling you what all of us are seeing. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm showing you what you're reading off of and what Mr. Reagan are reading off of. There's no, ex, there is nothing that shows he was in custody at the time of this incident based on what's been presented to you. There's nothing. I mean, mathematically, unfortunately, at least simple math comes reasonably well to me. I added the dates from the September 26th to the June 22nd, which equals the total prior credit time, which doesn't explain the June 4th to September 26th. And this incident took place in August. So I, it doesn't matter what anybody says right now. We have numbers. And let's go to the let's go by the numbers right now. 
The numbers say everything that everybody else is talking about makes no sense. What I'm saying, when I don't, what, this is where I'm at a loss. So you're saying from June 4th, so how, what, what happens on September 20th? What happens on so September judge, let, let, me just, let me just tell you, Judge. So on May 29th, he gets, he gets his gun charge in state court, May 29th, 21. So then the feds come and get him and take him into custody. He goes into Livingston County on June 4th, 2021. So I understand what the court is saying. So it, what it seems like Mr. Vincent is saying is that on June 4th, when they took him into custody on June 4th, they just let him go until 926, which doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make I, sense. So what happened? How does he... So he's gone on June 4th and then he just checks himself back in the prison? Or, I mean, on, on September 26th? That, that, okay. All right. Court haven't, heard, court haven't heard the arguments of counsel. Um, court is court is going to... The court is going to conclude that this defendant has not been out of custody since since June of 2021. Court is going to court is going to and that we've heard previously that the that the county prosecutor uh, waited two years to charge this offense. We we can't forget about that. Uh, and so there, there, there's a lot happening. Right? So court is going to reduce the bond to 250 thousand personal house arrest. GPS tether. Uh, the only yeah. conditions for leaving are for court appearances and medical appointments only. And Judge, you know I respect the heck out of you. I, 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 I do. But this document does not show or does not support the idea that he was in custody at the time of the this document. Time. I don't I don't see anything that says that he was released, that he was rearranged, that he was recharged. What 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 the defendant actually said sounds plausible to me that he moved to multiple facilities and and but anyway, this matter was not in, it was not that important to the Wayne County prosecutors off for two years. The man's been in custody that for 271 months. So we're going to we're going to uh, put him on a feather, house arrest, and this case in particular, if he is correct that he was incarcerated at the time, I would assume there should be a dismissal of the charge. If he has um, if he has you know lied to the court uh, or misrepresented to the court, this will be dealt with at a future proceeding. But at this time, he's receiving a uh, 250 thousand dollar. Personal bond. The court's finding that the two hundred thousand dollar bond is unaffordable, and that's it. Okay. So who do we have? Who? What is your name? Uh, or what's your name? Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm going to call Starks. Yes. Okay. Calling case number 24044-19701. People of the state of Michigan versus Devante Starks Harris. Defendant is being charged with count one, domestic violence. Count two, assault or assault and battery. Today's the date and time for a boundary determination appearances, please. Judge, good morning. Steve Vincent for the people, P71917. Judge Philip Ray on behalf of Mr. Starks Harris. Argument. Judge is 27, no history to my knowledge. Um, he's employed every day as a die seller. Uh, has uh, two kids and a newborn. I'm sorry, three kids. Um, judge makes good money, lives in the Detroit area. It's a misdemeanor DV, AD. Bond is 25,000 cash, and 20, asking for 25,000 personal. Uh, with whatever other conditions the court may set here. They, I'm not supposed to be in this courtroom. No, they, they told me to hurry up and get them out, get me out this courtroom. I'm not supposed to be in. Hey, Kat. Uh, Madam Clerk, mute the, uh, mute the, uh, the, 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 Oh, okay. So, is this the case allegedly where there was uh, a domestic violence situation in the car and there was 
that came that that was there filming or something like that, and then the defendant allegedly punched him. Is this that case or another case? I right. Can't, I can't that's, find. That's, that that that's no, that you you have to judge that. Okay, uh, Mr. Vincent. Uh, judge, what defense counsel failed to tell this court is this defendant's on bond for assault and battery. He just ended up picking up a case that indirectly had to do with this same complaining witness. He ended up beating uh, the complaining with a father to a child in common with this complaining witness as well, because apparently this gal has children with other individuals. This defendant about a month and a half ago ended up beating that individual. Then to add insult to proverbial injury, he ends up throwing a brick through that individual's car window. So he gets arraigned on that case, Judge, December 15th of 2022. Gets, or I'm sorry, the offense date was December 15th. He gets arraigned December 21st. Gets a personal bond, no assaultive contact. Conduct is part of uh, the conditions, Judge. And now he finds himself in front of you for an offense date, roughly about five and a half weeks, but um, you know, my math may be off a day or two for allegedly punching the complaining witness in the face multiple times. And like your honor said, somebody's videotaping it. He takes exception to the individual who's videotaping it, and he punches that individual as well, Judge. So a little bit more than um, meets the eye, or at least um, what, what um, counsel previously gave you. In addition to that, Judge, on the CCH, I have a height up. This doesn't make sense to me, but I have a height up where there was a, a deferred, there was a, a, a guilty plea on a first degree homicide, weapons felony, Mr. firearm, Mr. Prosky, home Mr. Prosky, invasion. Mr. Prosky, Mr. Prosky, one second. Uh, unmute, yeah. unmute, the, uh, unmute the, uh, the jail, Madam Clerk. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Mr. Vincent, continue. Uh, you can uh, remove. Oh, there you go, Mr. Vincent. Uh, you talking about hiders and, and homicide murder by hiders. Yeah. Um, okay. So, Judge, we, we have an individual, you know, he was on bond. He just allegedly committed the, the assault in December. And then one of the conditions, as you know, Judge, in any assaultive case, there's going to be a condition, no assaultive behavior. And then allegedly he ends up picking up this case. We have, you know, deferrals under height in 14, but I'm not even going to focus on that um, because that quite honestly doesn't make any sense. And I don't want to put any more confusion into this day. So I don't have anything definitive one way or another on that because it's a homicide and that doesn't get deferred under Vita. With all of that being said, Judge, I think this is a $25,000 cash. We're going to be asking Your Honor to continue some type of cash. He knew he shouldn't have put himself in this situation. He put himself in this situation. A witness ended up IDing him. We do have, allegedly, you know, the thing recorded. And he had just gotten involved in something like this a little over a month ago where he's going through the process. So respectfully, Judge, that's what the people have. Judge, go to trial, go to trial with this. I may lose. I may lose if I go to trial with this. I don't know, but I know it's a misdemeanor to me. And AMP is probably not gonna serve a day in jail, Judge. Um, probably get probation, counseling, all that. But but it, but it seems to be a danger though, Mr. Reagan. Yeah, not, well, Judge, well, Mr. Reagan, all due respect, if if yeah, within a month. May I say no, something? No, you no, can't no, say something no, when I'm talking. No, 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 no one should say anything while I'm talking. Is that fair? Is that fair that, that, that I get to talk because I listen to your lawyer, I listen to the prosecutor, I listen to the officer in a jail that had a defendant in the wrong courtroom. I've listened to everyone. I want to talk for a second. Now, if you feel that what I'm saying is erroneous or doesn't, doesn't meet your standard, you may uh, address after I finish, but I would just ask that you would you know, just just bear with me. Just bear with me. And let me get my words out. So what it what it looks like is he's accused at the end of twenty three with assaulting his his baby's mother's father, and he's charged with it. He gets a personal bond, and then, uh, you know, a little more than a month later, he's accused of assaulting the baby's mother, and then an innocent bystander who was recording the alleged assault. 
So what it looks like is, yeah, he may not do a day in, a day in uh in jail if he's convicted or pleaded guilty. But but what the court is seeing right now is that this gentleman seems to be a little bit out of control, and 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 you know, baby's mothers and baby mama's fathers and and cousins and bystanders. He seems to be being triggered right now. Bricks and cars and all the allegations, but a lot of allegations in a condensed time. So it maybe seems like maybe the holiday is triggering him. Maybe he's out of control. Maybe maybe the year ended badly. But but we shouldn't have two assaultive cases within sixty. Years. And while he's on a personal bond, because we pick up things, he should not have new charges. He should not have new charges coming while on probation and having, not probation, while on bond, and then having someone allegedly videotaping the, the, the assault, and then that person gets assaulted. It's just too much, Mr. Reagan. Now, Mr. Mr. Starch Hayes, uh, Harris, or whatever, what is it? I'm sorry, sir. I don't want to mispronounce Starch Harris. Mr. Starks here, who would you like to say, sir? Uh, it's not no random bystander. You see, I live with my baby mother. My baby mother is on drugs. So in order for my baby to come home from CPS, I had to live there. Now, in, on the 15th, that man, uh, well, I talked to my lawyer on what, what the man I was going to say, you're is, not guilty. But I, I was going to say. Not, the man yeah, is not her father. The man is not her father. The man is her is a is a man. No, no, that, I'm, that, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not on that case. Sir. I'm on the yeah. one with the in the charger. Okay. Oh, and then we have that. That's, 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 that's the same that's, man. That's the Okay. That's what I'm trying to I don't know about to. another that's case, Judge. I, I, I don't. It I don't know. No about innocent it. bystander. Hold it was no innocent bystander. It was no innocent bystander that videotaped that. He does not have. Look, when I got out on bond, they told me the conditions was to not mess with him. And don't go around him and don't do nothing to him, which I did not. I, I was at her house at 4750 Stockton Street. That's the same place on the 15th that I got locked up on and on the th 31st. I mean, well, the first I got locked up at that same address because I lived there. He comes there. He came there and boxed my car in. And then he videotaped me and my baby mama having a disagreement, right. which, which none of that stuff in there is true. You that's know why you are not guilty. You are yourself. not guilty. And that's the man who videotaped the him. He, right. he did it. Right. He did it. It was no innocent bystander. It was actually right. him. He it's came right to the work address that I live at. And he claimed the assault that never happened. Mr. Stark says, I'm glad you said that. So let me just say this. We are we are pleading you not guilty. And I understand it. And, and I want to point out to the judge that judge, even with allegations and even when people seem angry, and people are, are mad because they are locked up on charges that aren't true. I, I, they they sometimes can get a little bit loud and a little I, bit. I, I'm not mad about that. That man's but, passionate. But what I, I'm I saying have is, I mean, I get, the, it. I get at it. At the end of the day, Your Honor, it's you a call it, You got you got to call the police though. If a guy got you blocked and hemmed in, yeah. you got a phone in your car. You you, you call nine one one police. That's the whole thing. Uh, my car was in the car. My my car. My right. phone. My right, phone right. was dead. Yeah. It was inside the car, charging. Okay. I Mr. couldn't Stark, call anybody. Not, the box my car back had back a date on Look. my license plate, and I'm on bond, so I just left. I just left. Right. I just, just left. left my car. I left everything. Yes. I just left. That's why these are false allegations, Your Honor. They're mere allegations in a real allegations and false. Let's see, but I left. Mr. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Starks Harris. Thank you very much. Mr. Vincent, it's now thank your turn, and I and I I really have to move this now. So continue, Mr. Thank, Vincent. Thank, thank you, Judge. Just wanted to get the last word. When the police ended up arriving at the scene, they noticed that the complaining witness was bleeding, and she was complaining of soreness to her neck. But I digress. That's all I have, Judge. I mean, that's that's I mean that's a, that's an that's an intense argument. You know, a lot of the words sometimes, I guess. No, I can't even make a joke like that. You can't make words. It's it's words. Men. No, but 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 blood though. Blood doesn't only come from words. But that will happen at another time. And again, Mr. Reagan, I'm not. This is not a trial. This is just simply a determination hearing. His bond is now twenty five thousand cash. The court finds that being an unaffordable bond. In order to have an unaffordable bond, the court has to have a showing uh, that the defendant poses a danger either to the community or to the complaining witness. Um, the court finds, uh, you know, at this time that the defendant does pose a uh, the danger to the complaining witness and that an unaffordable bond is appropriate. Um, with that being said, bond is reduced to the amount of 1,000 cash. 
uh, with GPS tether, a 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. curfew, and no contact uh, with the complaining witness, witnesses. Thank you, Adam. All right. Thank you.